This is part 3 of Angular CLI tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to create a new Angular project from scratch using Angular CLI. Run the project that we have created, run unit and end-to-end -end test. In this course, we'll use Visual Studio Code as the editor. Visual Studio Code is free and you can use it on any platform, Windows, Mac or Linux. If you have not installed Visual Studio Code already, you may download and install it from this URL right here. To create a new Angular project, fire up command prompt as an administrator and then type this command ng new my first app. Here ng is the Angular CLI itself, new for creating a new project and my first app is the name of the Angular project that we want to create. This command creates all the required files and also installs all the required packages. Depending on your computer and internet connection speed, this command may take a few minutes to complete. There are several options that we can use with this ng-new command. We'll discuss what all these options are in our next video. Now let's press the enter key. So what all is this ng-new command going to do? It creates a new folder with name my first tab. All the required configuration and source files will be created. All the npm dependencies will be installed in node underscore modules folder. Unit and end-to-end -end tests will also be created. Unit test runner Karma is configured. End-to-end -end test framework Protractor is also configured out of the box. We will discuss unit tests, end-to-end tests, Karma and Protractor in our upcoming videos. Another important point to keep in mind is that the Angular CLI creates all the project code and configuration files out of the box while still following the Angular team's best practices and conventions. As you can see, Angular CLI is installing all the required packages using NPM. This is the most time-consuming task when creating a new Angular project. There we go. The project is successfully created. Let's clear the screen now. We named our project My First Tab and that project folder is present in C drive. So let's change the directory to My First App. And then we want to open this project folder using Visual Studio Code. To do that, I'm going to type code, short for Visual Studio Code, and then dot. And now when we press Enter key, it's going to open the project folder in Visual Studio Code. There we go. And notice here we have the node modules folder which contains all the packages that we have installed using npm. And we also have several other code and configuration files. We'll discuss what these files are and their purpose in our upcoming videos. Now to run the project using Angular CLI, we use this command ng serve dash dash open and then we press the enter key. ng stands for Angular CLI itself serve, we want to serve the application and this flag dash dash open is going to launch our default browser and it's going to run our application within that. Now by default the application is going to run at port number 4200 as you can see right here. We can change this default port number if required. We'll discuss how to do that in our upcoming videos. Notice it has automatically launched our default browser and look at the port number right here. It's 4200. At the moment it's still building our application. It's going to take a few seconds to complete this. There we go. Compiled successfully. Now if we look at the browser, we have our application running here. Now let's arrange this browser window, the command prompt window where we have our development server running and Visual Studio Code side by side. At the moment, Angular development server is running in watch mode as you can see right here meaning whenever the files within our Angular project changes, those changes are automatically detected, compiled and the browser reloads to reflect the changes. This is called live reload. We can turn this live reload functionality off if required. We'll discuss how to do that in our upcoming videos. Now let's look at this live reload functionality in action. Look at the message right here, welcome to app. This word app is coming from our root component. Our root component is right here, app.component.ts and within this component we have this property title and at the moment this property is set to this value app and that's what is displayed right here. And look at what's going to happen when I change this. I'm going to change it from app to 
Prajeem. And then when I save these changes, the web server in the middle, which is running in watch mode, is going to pick up those changes, automatically build them and look at the browser. It is true loaded and we see the message, welcome to Prajeem. Now, still the server is running in watch mode. To stop the server, we use control C and then Y to confirm. And then when we hit the enter key, the server is stopped now. We can also run unit tests using Angular CLI and to run all the unit tests we use ng and then test. When I press enter, it's going to again build the application, run all the unit tests. Look at the message right here, executed three of three. So we have three unit tests in total and all the three unit tests are executed out of which two failed. Angular CLI also launched the browser window with a graphical report. Notice we have three specs, that is three unit tests, out of which we have two failures. And here is our first failure. App component should have title app. If you remember, we have changed the title property within our app component from app to Prajim. That's the reason we have these two failures. To fix these two unit tests, all we have to do is change this title back to app. But before we do that, look at the development server right here. It's running in watch mode, meaning if we make any changes to our project, those changes will be automatically detected, the application will be rebuilt, and these unit tests will be re-executed. So let's change the title from Prajim to App, save our changes, and notice the development server is automatically going to detect those changes. It's going to build the application one more time and then re-execute those unit tests. Look at the message right here executed three of three and all the unit tests succeeded. And if you look at the browser window, it has reloaded the browser window and we have three specs and zero failures. And our development server is still running in watch mode. To stop the server, we press control C and then Y to confirm. To execute end-to-end -end tests, we use ng e to e and then press enter. This is going to build the application and execute our end-to-end test. Look at the message right here. Executed one of one spec. Within our application at the moment, we have one end-to-end -end test which is executed and that succeeded. Now let's quickly recap the commands that we have used so far. ng new. We use this command to create a brand new working Angular project out of the box. ng serve dash dash open. This command builds the application, starts the server, opens your default browser and runs the application within it. ng test runs all the unit tests. ng e to e runs all the end to end tests. In our upcoming videos, we'll discuss unit tests, end to end tests and all the different options that we can use with Angular CLI when executing unit and end to end tests. Thank you for listening and have a great day.